In this fast moving world of data science and AI, how to keep ourselves updated with the latest development in this field. In this video, I am going to show you my techniques which I use personally to keep myself updated in less amount of time with what is happening in the industry. Let me show you those resources and ways that I use. Let's try understanding five things that I use to stay updated in data science. Okay. So first of all, as simple as it may sound right, there is something called as teaching. Okay. It may be a very simple thing, but remember guys, when you have a, you are in a habit of teaching, right? Then you need, you need to learn things to teach. Okay. In that process of learning, right? Uh, you will improve and you will know what is happening around you. Now, the thing is many people don't know where to start, what to do, right? So there are multiple options. Maybe you can teach on YouTube. If you are afraid of, you know, showing your face, then you can do something on LinkedIn. You can write your blogs. You can um, contribute on various communities. You can start a telegram. You can have a, there are various portals, right? So in any of those portals, in any of those platforms, just go ahead and try to create some form of content, maybe a video content, audio content, text content, blogs, short blogs, whatever you want, right? So this is one thing that will keep you updated because it needs consistent learning. And when there is a need of consistent learning, then you will obviously go and search what to create content on, just like I'm doing. Second thing, uh, I, I'm just going to add here one uh, important, uh, you know, learning. That is, you remember 10% of what you see, you remember 20 or 25% of 10% um, uh, of what you read and 20 and 25% of what you see, but nearly 90% of what you teach. Okay, so 90% you remember or 95% of what you teach. So it becomes very important for you to teach. Okay, now second thing I want you to show here is, let me refer to my notes once, um, read blogs on some of the important organizations page. Okay, so that is one thing that I do read blog on some of the important organizations page. For example, I will go to uh, I will go to Google and I will search Netflix, Netflix, data science, Netflix, data science blogs or something like this. Okay, Netflix, data science blogs. So it will take me to Netflix, um, data science tech blogs. Now here if I go right, then uh, building in video search is one thing that Netflix is doing, okay? So what you can see here is what these guys are doing basically and what technologies they are using. Obviously they will be on top of everything, whatever happening in the world, right? So these guys will be using most um, advanced things, most advanced approaches. And when you read these blogs, right, you get to know what is going on in the industry. What are the things that is becoming important? So, okay. So not only Netflix, you can search for Amazon, you can search for Tesla, you can search for Google. Okay. So what I want to say here is just read blogs on read tech blogs for big, big organizations. Okay. Read tech blogs for big orgs, I will say. Or, uh, you know, uh, big shots, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Google, these guys. Third thing I want to show you is um, there are many newsletters. Okay. So which to subscribe, which not to subscribe, right? You have limited time to study. So I, I'm going to give you just few, uh, few names here that you can search and you can um, start on that. Okay. So one thing that you can search here is known as the downloaded, the download MIT. Okay. So if you search download MIT, right, then there will be something called as technology review. And in this technology review, right, they'll be writing daily dose of what's up in the emerging technology. So here I'm talking about staying updated in the, um, you know, emerging technology, right? So if you, if you see this, right, daily dose days of daily dose of what's ha happening in the emerging technology. And here you will find many things, for example, um, this new data poisoning tool, let's article fight back their generative AI. So many things that is new. Okay. That is, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, just, it will help you to stay updated in the world. Okay. So MIT technology review is one, uh, one blog newsletter that you can follow. The another newsletter that you can follow is the batch deep learning.ai. Okay. So if you go to the batch deep learning.ai, right. 
So here you need to just give your email ID and it will, uh, you know, it will send you what matters in AI right now. So uh, I, I'm kind of getting this and it's it, it gives very nice, um, very nice articles to read, very nice new letters to read. Okay. So we have to be very particular on where we are spending our time on because we cannot keep reading everything, right? So um, whatever new that only we can read, okay? And then I, I'll not give you many things. I don't want to confuse you. I'll go here and say TLDRAI newsletter, okay? So if I go and do here TLDRAI newsletter, right? So you will be seeing um, keep keep up to AI in five minutes, the most important AI ML data, data science news in a free daily email. So this is another interesting and very nice place where you can go and read the blog. So you can keep noting whatever I'm telling because I'm not telling anything that is not useful to you. Okay. So I will go to my notes and I will read here. I will write here important blogs. Okay. So important, uh, sorry, newsletters, important newsletters. So not everything you need to spend time on. Okay. Then I want to walk you through one interesting GitHub uh, repo that is known as ML paper of the week. So I will go here. Okay. And I will search GitHub ML paper of the week. Okay. So if you go here, right, you will find that they have they have created a very nice uh, 5.3k stars here, if you can see. And there you will find that subscribe to you to the newsletter and you can get top ML papers of the week. For example, in this week, I will be getting what are the top ML papers and I can read about it. Okay. So one very important repository to uh, get the latest happenings in the world of AI. So this is just noted down ML paper of the week. Okay, from the GitHub. So let me go here and I will write. I'm just trying to give you information on what is critical for you if you want to learn about uh, latest happenings. Okay, ML paper, paper only, not papers of the week. Okay, and then what I'm going to show you is uh, the importance of following big shots. So I will write here follow good people okay so in in the world of uh, ai and ml i am saying not not like uh, whatever is relevant from uh, ai and ml context i am saying okay so how to do that it's very simple you go to twitter and you search for andrew ng for example and at the moment i search for andrew ng right you will be seeing that there will be many you might like suggestions will be coming okay so you can simply click on Hugging face also you can follow, open AI also you can follow, right? So you have to go and see, are these guys really um, irrelevant for you? Are these guys worth following, okay? So open AI, if you see 2.9 million followers, okay? So obviously worth following. If you see hugging face, right? So you will see some 280K followers. Um, if I go and see who are the main followers for this side. Right? So for example, I follow many people who write good content on AI, okay? So from my list also you can, um, you can take home to follow. So all these guys create good content. Hence, I'm following these guys. Okay. So what you can do is from one good person to next, next person, next knowledgeable person you can reach. And Twitter is a very good place to learn things in, in short time. And they will be sharing very nice, nice articles and very nice, nice papers, etc. For example, if you go to Andrew NG, uh, this one, then you know, my new course generative AI for everyone is now available. So Andrew NG has launched a new course generative AI for everyone. You can access it here. So all these kind of information you can get here. Okay. So remember guys, if you want to stay updated in the world of AI and ML, what you have to do is you have to read the blogs of some good technology companies. Then you have to teach. Then you have to um, important newsletters you need. Then if you have limited times, follow ML paper of the week. And don't forget very, very important Build a network of good people and build a network of people or follow at least people who are good in AI and ML. Okay. So from these five, six things, you can stay updated. It will help you in clearing interviews. It will help you in talking sense in the meetings in the with the clients. Okay. So I'll see you all in the next video, guys, wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.